But soft kinetic is we are uh, an end-to-end -end solution provider in the uh, gesture recognition space. So what we actually do, in fact, in fact, is a complete system that goes from a uh, sensor design, depth sensor design that sees in 3D, all the way to uh, middleware uh, and application. So and a camera as well. So what you have uh, here on that on that television is one of the cameras that we uh, produce. It's called the DepthSense 311, and um, it's got two microphones, one RGB lens, and a, a depth uh, 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 sensor. And uh, what what actually it allows to do is, uh, for example, what we're showing here is a uh, is a media browsing, uh, natural media browsing uh, prototype, where you can simply go from videos, you know, go through all your video. Uh, and as you could see, I have a very, like, very natural way of moving. I don't do like crazy moves, so I I can simply use the system like doing this this kind of uh, light moves. So what you have in this uh, in this uh, uh, media browser, uh, media center, we're using a system that is similar to uh, what you would have on your smartphone, uh, which is uh, being able to add multi multitasking. So if I'm just launching another video, we'll see this. So we'll play all these videos. There you go. And uh, at any time, you can actually go to your menu, main menu, drop down on, and go back to whatever you, you started on, on your system. So, but the main point is to at any time be able to uh, get access to the information naturally. So we have all the menus accessible on the right or left, anything you would have in your in your standard uh, media center, like uh, volume up, down, uh, pause, uh, reset, rate uh, your your app, uh, maybe post it on uh, on uh, on Facebook, for example. Here we have a, a like social uh, media sharing, and uh, and obviously it's it's about controlling the uh, uh, the device. Uh, but also going much further than that, you can uh, you can have uh, video games, on your full body uh, just uh, video games. So we obviously seeing here a system that is made for the smart television or next generation set top box that is just your control. But uh, we really wanted to go beyond uh, you know the standard. Uh, a, a gesture control interface that's that's new and it's really needed however it's not enough so uh, we decided to uh, go all the way down to a full experience where you have gesture based games that you can start on your smart TV so we'll launch now dance wall what's the difference between uh, Softkinet and Kinect from this course? So Soft Kinetic uh, is actually uh, founded in, uh, in uh, 2007. So actually, we, we came before the Kinect uh, name came out, way before. Uh, but uh, in essence, we provide fairly similar uh, uh, end products to OEMs, uh, but in a more, much more flexible way, because we're not Windows-centric. We're also Linux, and uh, we, we are going to Android. Uh, but at the end of the day, the user experience uh, can be fairly similar on, uh, in, uh, in terms of gaming. But really go further than gaming. We are uh, widely uh, used in, uh, in uh, serious gaming, like for example, Rehab. Uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, people that are using these technologies since, since pretty much 2008, way before Kinect came out. They've been doing digital signage application. Um, so it's, it's a broad usage, but our, our core market is really the PC, which we can talk about a few, uh, in a few seconds, and the smart TV. So Soft Kinetic is a Belgium-based company. We have uh, about 110 people uh, to date, with uh, offices pretty much uh, all over the place. But our headquarters are in Belgium, uh, in Brussels. We have offices in uh, in the Silicon Valley. Uh, we also have offices in uh, in Beijing, uh, in Hong Kong, in uh, Seoul. So here you can see that I'm I'm playing a a pretty engaging game. So our goal is to license the technology and uh, when we license our technology to OEMs, 
they actually want, uh, uh, you know, they don't only want hardware, they also want, you know, a complete set that, com that combines uh, a great software analysis tool, but also games and applications that they can launch with the products. That's really what we're helping them with. How many people uh, can use uh, in some time? Uh... So, uh, we can actually have, a, uh, you know, setting up to four users. Uh, but, I mean, we, we could analyze more users, but the problem is uh, the field of view of those cameras is not huge. So actually having more than four players on screen is almost impossible to get. So in effect, you know, as an end user, you can expect to play with two people with that generation of device. Yep. Thank you. Sure.